The expected launch of the Artemis I was scrubbed shortly before it was intended to rocket into the sky on its way to the moon. The engine issue was unfortunately disappointing for many in an anxious crowd among them being two of the three daughters of the Laredo man who was being honored at the center of it all. Ledo and Arturo Campos, the legendary NASA engineer who helped save the crew of the Apollo 13 posthumously was in the commander's chair of Artemis I via Munikin. The gesture wasn't just symbolic, as the Munikin would also collect data for future Artemis missions. Campos' daughters are Leticia Campos Maddox, Deanna Campos Rank, and Yvette Campos Brewer. The trio of native Ledoans have already been waiting over a year for the launch, as the pandemic and other issues delayed it until this week. Leticia was at the launch site with her husband, Mike Maddox, son, Jeremiah Maddox, and two documentary filmmakers. It was so upsetting and disappointed that we were not going to get to watch it launch, Leticia said. But the experience was once in a lifetime for me, as I had never been at a live launch, Leticia said that despite the disappointment, she was thrilled by the whole experience, as she met many people who viewed Campos and his legacy as something remarkable. In fact, the stewardess on the plane called her a local celebrity and presented her to the whole plane's passengers as she was greeted and thanked for her father's contributions to NASA. I am just the daughter of this man, and he continues to be valued for what he did, Leticia said. It just shows how much of an impact Dad has had and continues to have while Leticia was in Carnaval, Florida to see the launch. Her sisters unfortunately had to remain in Texas due to COVID-19. Deanna tested positive for the virus and was not feeling well prior to the launch. Yvette, who was also around Deanna previously, did not want to potentially spread the virus if she had it. Yvette ended up testing negative and was welcomed to the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston where she visited the mission control room. The view was awesome, Yvette said. They have many shots of different things going on. We'll be ready when they are. Deanna said she was very disappointed that the launch did not happen. She had previously mentioned that she hoped there would be no more delays as the wait has already been prolonged. Deanna was especially sad that her sister, Leticia, had been waiting there since the night before the launch waiting for the big moment. I feel very sad, Deanna said. Especially for my sister, Leticia Maddox Campos, as she was out at the launch site since 1 or 2 a.m. waiting for it. I was really hoping that she would get to see it although NASA stated that Artemis I may launch Saturday, the sisters said they will be there to see it take off from Mission Control in Houston. Although the Campos sisters would like to return to Florida, Leticia said she won't be returning for another launch try as it is expensive to travel. However, she is glad that the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston is just a few miles from her home, and she will be there as the NASA crew working from the area is expecting to do a big party in celebration of the launch. Prior to the announcement for Saturday, the sisters are skeptical the launch will be soon. Leticia said NASA has already had several open window days that extend from the beginning of September to the end of the month, but also others in the beginning of November and December as they continue to monitor the situation. I don't think the rocket will be ready to launch by Friday or even the week after that as they work on fixing those issues, Leticia said. My sisters talked to a director in NASA, but they got told that they still need more work done, and when that happens, then the rocket will be ready to go if Artemis I doesn't launch on Saturday, another possible date that is potentially considered is September 5, 2022. That date in particular is one Leticia would hope to avoid, as it marks the day Campos died September 5, 2001. Understandably, she would prefer that day of tragedy not be the day where she and her family hope to celebrate their loved one's life. I am just not like, that day, 